here we are again. Mr. Ladders Park class here. The one just is and whoever else wants to check it out. Well hey, you know, I I don't know if you can see it, but well you probably can't, but behind that lamp I I made a collage of all of the rose petals and stems. Tried to make a video of it, but that computer I got over there, the old one, just ain't working too good, so I'm uh, going to see what I can do about that. I'll post a couple pictures of it. Maybe I'll do a little slide presentation of things. As you can see, I'm setting up my studio to be a little bit more user-friendly, a little bit more purdy. So hey, you know what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a bracelet, because the other week when I was on the beach, the first week we were out of school, I picked up a bunch of different um, products. And actually, you can see these here. I'm actually going to do something with this later on, and this, we're going to make some sachem bracelets. I kind of think, I think I'd mentioned that before. It's going to be something very simple. But also, um, I found these on the beach. It's a nice rubber tire. And this I was a piece of wood I'd found many, many years ago, quite honestly. This here is a togwa nut right here. And um, then I got some red and white, I got some red and black elastic stretchy stuff. And I have some red and white thread. So what I've, I've done is, it, I've, to shorten these films up, I've done a little bit of uh, preliminary work to it. So we're going to make this nice and quick for you so you can get back to your own thing. But uh, hey, subscribe, thumb it up, you know, spread the word. I'm kind of hoping that this becomes something that uh, is enjoyable for most. I should be, uh, I should be hearing more from you, so, so some, some more of you kids at school. So anyway, so what I did here, I took this tire that was on the beach and they used it as a bumper for a boat evidently. There were some metal screws in here that went onto the side of a boat so when the lobster boats bang up against the, the, the docks and such. and So it was obviously knocked off over time. The, uh, I cut it in half because I'm going to make a couple of them. Um, and then I drilled some bigger holes in here. I tied a knot here and here and it's a stretchy material so it's going to be really easy for me to put it on uh, my wrist and take it off my wrist. So what I got here, I've got my little strings, you know, I got a red and black string, I'm going to thread that to a hole, it, which I pre-drilled, so like again, speed things up for you. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to take this, this rope, nice stringy rope, or um, elastic -y rope, I'm going to thread it through here, and then I'm going to take this rope right here and I'm just going to tie it down. We'll, we'll trim that off later and maybe I'll put another bead on it, but we're going to make it nice and tight. Sachem red. For those of you who don't know our school, we, our school colors are black and red. We're the sachems, which is uh, Indian tribes from, from uh, Winchester back in the day. Okay, so now I got this little thread here. I'm going to drop it through here. I put a little super glue on the end of this because it was fraying quite a bit. It was hard to get through this hole because I wanted it tight. There we go. And I might just pull it through here with a, you know, like that, you know. I already pre-knotted this here so it would go really quickly for, you, for the demonstration. And now all I really have to do, I'm going to take this here. I've given myself an extra length of rope because, um, I want to be able to tie it off and have have usable room. So I'm going to take this. This is actually a, um, I think a crochet needle. I'm going to use that to stuff it through the hole. It may take a little bit of effort. Let's see if we get in there. I put some super glue on the end to kind of give it a little bit of toughness because it was fraying a lot. There we go. Yeah, so you know what, I'm even going to use this. This is a double little pair of pliers and give a little bit more. It's funny, it's almost like plugging a tire in a car. If you've ever seen that done at the store. We'll pull it through. Oh, I don't want to lose it, so I'll push a little harder. Give it a little twist to Rooney. There we go, there we go. Nice. I'm going to pull this through. Yeah, let's see. Now if I just tie that knot off there, let's see. Yeah. 
it's going to tie this knot off. And now again, it's rubber and stretchy, so it should be pretty easy to set it. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll make it a little looser than that. So get my pair of pliers out. Yeah, I made it a little too tight, so we can just back it down a little bit. Loosen that up a little. So maybe I'll use these so these pliers are a little less. Yeah, that'll be good. Close that off a little bit, see how it fits. Okay, a little bit looser. The old teeth. I tell you, I can untie a knot. It's funny, when we were little kids, my brother Johnny Boy used to follow us. And he's five years younger than us, and he'd be like, no, you can't come with us, we're too old. Your mom's going to get mad, so we said, have to play. Hey John, let's tie you to a tree. Play tie you to a tree. <laughs> and that would keep them busy for a little while so we could run down the street. All right, so there's my my bracelet. Look at that, huh? Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to cut that off extra. There we go. Ta-da! My totally styling Winchester bracelet. Sachin's bracelet. Now this I put here so the rope couldn't slide out, you know, that rubber. Now, there you go, huh? Not that bad. Upcycle. What do you think you pay for that, huh? 30 bucks maybe? 30 bucks? How you doing? We're back. All right, hey, listen. Um, yesterday, during that little session, I was working on this bracelet and... One of the things I, I wanted to kind of correct is my hands were in the wrong position, so I don't. So some of the earlier footage won't be that great. So I just want to sort of go over it with you. And I got to like, move the camera angle over. Okay, so what we got here, right, is I got this right here. I super glued these. Now I put a nice little wrap over here. It was a little tighter, so I had to mess with this. So now it fits on my wrist, nice and nice. If you can see that, pretty good. Okay, so that's that. And now we're going to put that one aside. Notice the sachem colors because we are the sachems, right? That's a wicked cool. Okay, so anyways, the other one, I, had, I found this piece right here. It's, uh, it's actually, I think you can maybe see it on this one. It says made in USA. I believe it was from a bicycle tire of some sort. It didn't look like a car tire. If it did, it's probably um, more of uh, the wall of the tire. So anyways, what I did is I, I had this hole piercer here. It pierces um, metal, small pieces of metal, but it is also really good for um, leather. It's really mostly for a leather punch. But um, So what I did is I punched a few holes in it. I have some red string, because again, I'm thinking about the sachems, you know, and that's kind of cool, because that's who we are. And, um, oops, where's my other little... Oh, it's right here, that's good. I also, these are very amazing little pieces. I'm going to be adding these to it. It's kind of interesting. In some way, there's a sadness about these. These are actually real ivory. I got them from a gentleman many, many years ago. Um, he was a jeweler and a metalsmith and a machinist. And I cleaned out his cellar. And his wife gave me little boxes of all this stuff. And the, I found, you know, there's about 20 of these little pieces in there. So I'm going to try to honor the where it came from really, whether it was from a tusk or from a tooth, I don't know, quite know, but they were little de um, samples that I guess he used to get in the mail. So I'm gonna use those. And I have my drill over here, which is a wonderful Praxin drill. I don't get paid by Praxin for talking about Praxin, but it's a German made drill. It's my jeweler's drill, my wife's jeweler's drill actually. And um, I'm going to get a very, very small drill bit in here, so I'm going to pierce the holes in here because I'm eventually going to add those to this. Um, that I may do it another time only because of time. I don't want to spend too much time on it. That's going to be very delicate. Also, now what I also have is this cool little piece of wood. I've got this piece of wood from... Well, actually, it's outside. I have this little 
curtain is kind of like a little old hippie curtain from the 70s. It was made by, by little pieces of wood. And um, I've had it for many years and it's kind of deteriorating over time, but I use it for jewelry as I pick it apart and um, kind of like the curtain that goes in between doors and stuff. And then I have some red, red stuff. So what I did here is I pierced these holes like this and um, I took some regular leather, so I'll be able to slide it on my hand like this and I'll be able, and I'll just pull these tight. Okay, so that's how that's just gonna sit. And well, we're not gonna bother because I don't want to waste your time, but that goes right on nice. But it's a little boring. So what I've done here is I've taken this here and I put a little super glue on the ends. You can probably see that right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread that through one of the holes. I'll pull it through. And I have another one over here. It says right, made in USA. So I wanted to make sure you could see that because you know, one of the whole things we're learning about this whole crisis we're in is how much things have been not made in the USA anymore. So it's kind of cool that I found this on the beach during the time when uh, it's most important to get back to building things so we can build industries for, for our um, communities. That's kind of a very groovy thing. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Pierce that hole a little bit better. And I'll turn it over this way. And because it's rubber, it tends to, yeah, you see that little snap? Do a little, yeah, there's a little piece that popped out. Now I'll take this, and I'll thread it in here. Pull it through. Okay, I'm gonna actually pull these together so I can just see how where it's centered up. Yeah, that looks good. I don't want it so tight. And now I'm just going to tie some knots in the ends. So I think what I'll do is I'll tie a, I'll probably work this as close as I can to here. So I have, you know, it's, it's hard, it kind of hard to tie a knot, so I'm gonna take this. Tie a nice little knot. I'm gonna work it right to the end because I need to stretch it long enough. I'm gonna put super glue on that later. I'll pull that through here and I'll tug it over here. I don't want to square it up, but I want to have enough room. And now, hey, yeah, that's kind of cool. Give it a little bit more looseness. Looseness, is that a, actually, you know what I can do? I can even make it tight and then I'll just loosen it back up. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this rope in because I want that to be flexible. I think that's be cool. I kind of like that it actually moves a little bit. So now I'll just snug this down. Right? I'll get my scissors. I'll snip that off. And now I'm going to get my super glue out. Make sure this doesn't put fray out on me. There we go. Very nice. All right. <laughs> it's the super glue stuck to my hand. All right, a fish out of water. Okay, so now let's just put it on. So it looks. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pull on these little bad Larrys. That's one bad hat, Larry. <laughs> What's that from? Now, I'm not too sure how I want to handle these yet, but I could probably just tuck them in there. That might be kind of cool. Eh, I'll let them hang. I don't care. It's kind of a, kind of a cool little thing. I'll work that out. Oh, I know. I can just tie it in a knot. Yeah, just so it's not so flopping around, you know, and won't pop off. Okay, so now... There's my little bracelet, little station bracelet. Now, before we go, what we'll do is I'll just drill these out with this drill. Now on the back side, they already have a hole for the, um, I guess they were buttons for a little lady's blouse, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these little, little buttons, right? I got the little buttons and they have these little holes in them here. So that'll be my guide. I'll lower this down. The whole trick to doing this is let the tool do the work. Nice and slow. 
Whenever I'm drilling, I'm taking it really slow. And I sort of pulse drill. There you go. That's nice. Right in the middle, perfect. Yeah, this practicing drill is just excellent. I have a practicing uh, scroll saw also. It's all metal. German engineering, they knew what they were doing. Those Germans, they know how to build a car and they know how to build machinery. Hold still. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pulse drill my little jewelry. Get this over here for you. You can see what I'm doing. Turn on the machine. There's a little hole here that I can center it up with and there's already a beginning hole there. There we go. And one. These drill bits are really small, so you have to be very, very careful. I always say, do what I say, not what I do when I'm teaching kids, because I've been doing this a long time. So. Always let the tool do the work. Yeah. So now we have the holes drilled through. Okay, and uh, what we'll do is, what else my plan was is to put them on the on the necklace, kind of like. Oh, I like the little flower one. Who knows? Maybe I'll only do one. Although I like the three. There's something about asymmetry. Like each one of these is a little bit unbalanced. I mean, they're balanced in the size, but they're all different designs. So I kind of. I think what I like to do is do something like that. And that just sort of gives it a little bit of femininity with the masculinity thing rocking with the little rubber. So that's gonna be it for now. We'll take a look at um, putting these together. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit more preliminary work so I don't uh, bore you with my little um, process that I have to go through to get these things prepped. All right, we'll talk soon. Why don't you all go outside and have some fun, go, go, I don't know, rake the leaves, go, yeah, you know what you should do, go out in the garden and pull up some of all the, the debris, because underneath there you might some, see some of the new flowers that are coming up. And for my photography kids, hey, this is the time to start documenting the growth of the flowers and the buds on the tree, so my assignment for you, really, take this seriously, because we can do some, we can see some beautiful stuff when we get back together. You know, it's all about documentation. I sent you out stuff on the emails about that. I sent you some really good um, people to go reference, and I hope you've done that. But in, I think this is spring, spring is sprung. So why don't we get out there and start looking at the buds on the trees. I know that some of the magnolias up here starting to open up. Imagine doing, let's do a whole week study of that. Um, let's go look at all the plants in the trees around your yard and get a documentation of the, of the growth. We can pop them into Photoshop and, and even turn them into an animation. Okay, hey, I'm back again. Took a little break to take do some preliminary work. I told you I wanted to, um, Put these little, you can see them here, these are, again, like I said, these are from an ivory, it was a sample from probably 60 years ago, maybe even more, the old gentleman gave them to me. I've had them for at least 20, yeah, maybe almost 20 years, 15 years, just sitting in a box somewhere and I found them. So here they are, and, uh, and this is another bracelet that I put me in, out of the Sachem colors, red and black. So we'll just thread this on. I shall do the Made in USA facing up. And then I just pull these like this. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I have the good old teeth. All right? Do a little twist on that. And they're ready to go. Loaded for bear. My two upcycle bracelets. I think they're kind of cool. Let's check them out from this side. All right, so I got my Sachem bracelet with my rubber tire, little piece of wood from 
from an old uh, blind that I have from way back in the day. Um, the ivory from 67 years ago probably. And then this is from my tire that I found on the beach. It was a bumper of sorts on a boat. This is from an old tree that actually I hollowed out with one of my um, tools. This is actually a togwa nut that, that you get out of the rainforest. And that's actually kind of cool because they're actually, togwa nuts are from the rainforest and they've actually replaced um, ivory. They call it nature's ivory. They come out of the palm tree. And then of course, a little springy band so I can remove it pretty easy. And actually that was a um, cedar log. That's what that was, that was cedar. I got my two upcycle braces I'm really excited about. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, subscribe to Mr. Land and Art Winchester. And um, we'll see you in the next session. Alright, God bless y'all. Peace, love, self.